Finally! Emma breathed a sigh of relief as she reached the venue for her engagement announcement party. This was a monumental day for her, with all her friends, family, and close relatives in attendance, as well as Aaron's her beloved fiancé. Emma had dreamed of this day since meeting Aaron five years ago. Yet, standing in the hallway, her spirits were dampened by the events of the terrible day she had endured. You're finally here. Everything's going to be fine now. She whispered to herself, taking a deep breath and summoning a radiant smile. Despite her initial anxieties, Emma entered the venue with a cheerful smile and nervous excitement. She was ready to meet Aaron's family and be the charming bride-to-be. Little did she know that she was about to encounter something so shocking that would make her feel as if the ground had been ripped out from under her. Emma was a gorgeous 29-year-old salon owner who had built a name for herself with her sheer talent and tenacity. Hailing from a small town, she had worked harder than most of her peers, managing to open her own salon by the age of 27. Emma had faced numerous challenges along the way from working two jobs to pay her way through college to contending with fierce competition from fellow hairstylists. Despite it all, her tenacity and talent earned her a reputation as a stylist who could transform both hair and confidence with just a few snips and strokes of color. Within just two years of opening her salon The Hair Affair, she had built a loyal clientele who trusted her expertise and wouldn't dream of going anywhere else. Her diary was always booked weeks in advance a testament to the quality service of her salon and the genuine relationships she fostered with her clients. But these days it felt like the universe had stopped bestowing its blessings on Emma and her salon. From unexpected cancellations to her salon's sign being vandalized, it seemed like everything was going wrong all at once, and she simply couldn't figure out the reason why. Ugh! Emma screamed, exasperated by the seemingly endless list of tasks on her to-do list. She hastily zipped up her dress and started applying her makeup, rushing to get ready for the party. If she had paid more attention she might have noticed the old woman from that terrible day some time ago. Normally, Emma relished getting dolled up. As a salon owner, making people look beautiful was literally part of her job. But today, nothing was going her way. Her dress bore a stubborn coffee stain she couldn't remove, the heels she had ordered hadn't been delivered and she received yet another cancellation message for her salon appointments. It was as if the universe was conspiring against her on what was supposed to be one of the happiest days of her life. She took a deep breath, trying to steady herself, but the mounting frustration was hard to ignore. Little did she know, these minor setbacks were just the beginning of a series of unexpected events. Emma called her assistant, hoping for news of at least one walk-in customer but her heart sank when there were none. With a heavy heart and a stressed mind, she took a final look in the mirror, adjusted her makeup, and mustered a determined smile. This was her special day, and she was determined to face it with grace. Standing in front of the party venue, Emma was consumed with worry and anxiety. With her business facing unrelenting challenges, she wanted this evening to go perfectly more than anything. After all, Her relationship with Aaron hinged on the approval and blessings from both sides of the family. Despite her nerves, Emma had done remarkably well. The venue decor she had chosen looked stunning, the catering was impeccable, and guests were smiling and laughing. She felt a wave of relief that, finally, something in her life was going according to plan. Emma! She turned around, meeting the gaze of her handsome fiancé. Aaron approached her with a group of elderly women. Emma! Meet my grandma and her friends, he said, gesturing toward a petite woman. Emma greeted her warmly, beaming as she introduced the group of friends. Emma had prepared for these family introductions well in advance. She had memorized the likes and dislikes of close family members to earn some extra points. Her charm was working flawlessly, until she spotted an unexpected face in the crowd that shook her to her core. There, amidst the crowd, was an old woman whose face she remembered all too well. A chill ran down her spine as the memory of that dreadful day at the salon flooded back to her mind. It had been a particularly exhausting day. On that fateful day, Emma's schedule was jam-packed, and she was desperate to finish her shift and head home. She had back-to-back clients and wanted nothing but to go back home and hop onto her bed. 
but her fantasies were cut short when the walk and bell jingled. She was just an hour away from closing shop for the day, when an old woman walked in. She asked for a trendy cut, something fresh and modern. Emma, tired beyond measure, knew deep down that the style wouldn't suit the woman's hair type or face shape. Normally, she would have gently suggested a more flattering alternative, but that evening, exhaustion clouded her judgment. Instead of dissuading the woman, she decided to go ahead with the cut, eager to finish her shift and head home. As Emma worked, her fatigue became more apparent. Her hands, usually steady and precise, fumbled slightly with the scissors. She could feel the heaviness in her arms, the residual fumes from the products making her head pound the result was far from her usual standard. The trendy cut, which should have been chic and stylish, looked awkward and unflattering on the woman. Emma tried to salvage the haircut, snipping here and there in a desperate attempt to improve it, but it was no use. The style simply didn't work. When she finally finished, she stepped back, feeling a wave of concern and embarrassment wash over her. Her salon staff, who had been watching the process, couldn't hold back their laughter. The sound echoed in the small space, making the situation even more uncomfortable. The old woman, sensing the ridicule, gave an awkward, sheepish laugh, trying to mask her discomfort. I'm so sorry, Emma said, her voice low and apologetic as she handed the woman a mirror. The woman looked at herself, the forced smile never leaving her face. It's different, she said diplomatically, though her eyes betrayed her disappointment. She paid for the cut and left, her posture a little more slumped than when she had entered. The old lady hastily put her coat back on, pulled her white wool cap over her freshly cut hair, and darted out of the salon. As soon as the door closed behind her, the other hairdressers burst into laughter. All of Emma's staff were pointing at the retreating figure and at Emma, their mirth filling the room. The girls couldn't believe what Emma had done to the poor woman. They joked that maybe Emma should have her hairdressing license revoked or break her scissors. Emma tried to laugh alone, but her heart wasn't in it. As guilty as Emma felt, she was at least relieved that the day was over and that the old lady had left without lashing out at her. But her relief was short-lived. Amid the giggles and cackles over the old lady's haircut, Emma heard the walk-in bell jingle again. It was the old woman. She had forgotten her bag at the reception and had come back to retrieve it. Color drained from Emma's face. She knew the woman must have heard the girls mocking her. Tears streamed down the woman's cheeks. But before Emma could say anything, the woman grabbed her bag and rushed out. Emma tried to contact the old woman to apologize but she had paid in cash and was a first-time customer, leaving Emma with no way to reach her. Defeated and remorseful, Emma went back home, hoping the incident would simply fade away. However, the following day, strange things began to happen at her salon. When Emma arrived at work, she discovered that two of her monthly regulars had canceled their appointments without any notice. She tried calling them, but neither picked up. That is odd, Emma thought. However, she brushed it off as a mere coincidence. As the days went by, business started to decline sharply. Clients who had been loyal for years suddenly stopped showing up. Regulars canceled their appointments at the last minute, and new customers were scarce. The atmosphere in the salon grew tense, and the camaraderie among her staff began to fade. The situation worsened when her storefront was vandalized. Graffiti marred the pristine windows of the hair affair, an occurrence that had never happened in the two years since she opened. Emma was at a loss, unable to figure out why her once thriving business was unraveling. Despite her best efforts to understand the sudden downturn, Emma couldn't figure out the cause behind it. She increased her marketing efforts, offered discounts, and even revamped the salon's interior to attract customers, but nothing worked. Emma's diary, once booked weeks in advance, now had glaring gaps. As weeks turned into months, the financial strain took its toll. Emma had to let go of some staff members and cut back on salon hours. Her dream, which she had built with so much passion and hard work, was crumbling before her eyes, and she was powerless to stop it. The question that haunted her day and night was, why? What had she done to deserve this relentless series of setbacks? The weight of her financial obligations pressed down on her 
and she found it increasingly difficult to keep her spirits up. In the midst of this turmoil, she had to prepare for her engagement announcement party. It was supposed to be a joyous occasion, but Emma could hardly focus on it. The salon's struggles consumed her thoughts, making it nearly impossible to muster the excitement the event deserved. Now as Emma stood there in the party with Aaron's grandma staring at the familiar face of the old woman, she felt as if the breath had been knocked out of her body. As Aaron's grandma introduced the two, Emma's heart skipped a beat, and a wave of guilt and anxiety washed over her. Emma, this is Mrs. Henderson, an old friend of mine, Aaron's grandma said warmly. Emma composed herself, forcing a smile. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Henderson. Mrs. Henderson nodded, her eyes scanning Emma with a mix of curiosity and recognition. The tension was palpable, but Emma knew she had to address the elephant in the room. She definitely wasn't going to let a bad haircut ruin this special day for her. Once the formal introductions were over, she took a deep breath and approached the old woman. Mrs. Henderson, can we talk for a moment? Emma asked softly. The old woman looked at her, a hint of weariness in her eyes, but she nodded. They moved to a quieter corner of the room, away from the cheerful chatter of the other guests. I wanted to apologize for what happened at the salon. Emma began, her voice trembling slightly. I was exhausted that day, and I didn't give you the care you deserved. I should have been more considerate about your feelings and not let my staff talk about you behind your back. I'm truly sorry. Please forgive me. Mrs. Henderson's expression softened, but her eyes remained guarded. I appreciate your apology, Emma. It was a difficult experience for me, and I felt quite humiliated. But seeing how earnest you are, I'll forgive you. Emma breathed a sigh of relief before steadying herself to ask the big question. I've been facing a lot of challenges at my salon since you got your haircut. And I can't help but ask if you might have anything to do with that. Mrs. Henderson's eyes widened slightly in surprise. She took a moment before responding, her gaze steady and thoughtful. Emma, I'm not a vengeful person. What happened was unfortunate, but I would never try to ruin someone's livelihood over a bad haircut. Emma felt a wave of relief but also confusion. Why was everything going wrong then? While she pondered the question, she noticed two kids laughing and giggling in the corner, clearly eavesdropping on the conversation. Determined to find out if they knew anything, Emma approached them. Hey you two, what's so funny? The kids exchanged mischievous glances before one of them spoke up. You only got what you had sown, the boy said smirking. Emma frowned, unsure of what he meant. What are you talking about? The girl piped up. Grandma Helen, Mrs. Henderson, is our grandma. We were the ones who encouraged her to get a trendy haircut for this party. But after seeing the horrible haircut you gave her, and how embarrassed she felt, we decided to do something about it. Emma's heart sank. What did you do? We posted reviews on Google and started a bad review thread on Twitter. The boy said, shrugging nonchalantly. We wanted people to know what happened. Emma felt a wave of shock and disbelief wash over her. She had been so busy with everything that she hadn't had the time to be on social media at all. I didn't even know. She muttered, feeling a sinking sensation in her stomach. The girl crossed her arms, looking defiant. We just wanted people to know the truth. Maybe next time, you'll think twice before doing something like that to someone else. Emma's mind raced as she processed what the kids had told her. It made sense now, the sudden drop in business, the cancellations, the vandalism. Her salon's reputation had been tarnished online, and she hadn't even realized it. She looked back at Mrs. Henderson, who seemed just as surprised as she was. I had no idea they did that, Mrs. Henderson said, shaking her head. I'm so sorry, Emma. Emma took a deep breath, trying to steady her nerves. It's not your fault. I should have been more considerate of the situation in the first place. But now I know the truth, and I can try to fix it. With a new sense of clarity, Emma realized she had to address the negative reviews and reclaim her salon's reputation. She thanked Mrs. Henderson and her grandkids and went back to the party. Finding a quiet corner, she quickly logged onto Twitter to see the mess online. As she scrolled through the reviews, 
Emma thought she'd finally have all the answers. But what she discovered was more than just a backlash over a bad haircut. One scathing reviewer claimed they had come to the hair affair for platinum blonde hair, but their hair had fallen off afterward due to the stylist's mistakes. Emma didn't know about this incident at all. Her heart pounded as she read the review in detail. The reviewer described how their hair had become brittle and broken, and had started falling off in clumps. She accused the stylist of using the wrong products and not following proper procedures. The review had garnered numerous comments, likes, and retweets, amplifying its impact. Emma's mind whirled with confusion and concern. How could something so serious have happened without her knowing? Determined to uncover the truth, she began to dig deeper. She needed to find out who the stylist was that had handled the client and what exactly had gone wrong. She called her assistant, Laura, who had been with her from the beginning. Laura, do you remember anyone coming in for platinum blonde hair and having a terrible reaction? It's all over Twitter, and I don't recall this incident. Laura hesitated on the other end of the line. Actually, Emma, there was an incident a few months ago. It was handled by one of the junior stylists, Megan. The client seemed to have various complaints. I thought it was resolved, but I guess it wasn't. Emma felt a knot form in her stomach. She had trusted her staff to handle every client with care and professionalism, and this revelation was troubling. Laura, can you ask Megan to come to the salon early tomorrow and speak with me about this? Next morning, Megan came to see Emma as soon as she clocked in for work. Emma could see the worry etched on her face. Megan, I need to talk to you about the platinum blonde client who left a scathing review online. Emma began, her voice calm but firm. Megan nodded, her eyes downcast. I remember her. She came in two days before the incident with the old lady. From the start, she was a difficult customer, arriving with a bad attitude and being rude throughout the appointment. I did everything by the book, but she just wasn't pleased. After the treatment, she was furious and blamed me for the damage. Emma asked Megan to explain the entire procedure she had used. After listening carefully, she realized Megan hadn't actually done anything wrong. However, for the sake of her business's reputation, she pressed further. Did you use the correct products and provide an in-depth hair consultation? Yes, I did. Megan insisted. I even double-checked everything to make sure I was doing it right. I'm so sorry, Emma. I never intended for this to happen. I apologized to the client profusely and thought the issue was resolved when she left, but it seems like it wasn't. Emma took a deep breath feeling the weight of the situation. I believe you, Megan. I know you wouldn't deliberately do anything wrong. But we need to address this properly and uncover why this woman is accusing us online. Emma's gut was saying that there was more to the situation than just bad service. Emma and Megan sat down to review the client's records. Emma and Megan decided to dive deeper, determined to get to the bottom of the situation. They pulled up the client's records and appointment details and found her name, Amelia Brown. With a sense of urgency, they began searching for Amelia's profile online, wanting to ensure it wasn't a troll account. As they scrolled through Amelia's social media, they saw numerous posts, photos, and interactions confirming she was indeed a real person. However, Emma was unaware that she was about to receive a major shock. As she scrolled further, Emma's eyes widened when she stumbled upon an old picture of Amelia and Aaron together. The pieces began to fall into place as she pieced together the clues. Amelia was Aaron's ex-girlfriend. Emma's heart raced as she recalled a recent conversation with Aaron. He had casually mentioned that his crazy ex had contacted him upon hearing about their engagement. At the time, Emma had laughed it off, thinking it was just an overreaction. She never imagined Amelia would show up at her salon. Megan, look at this, Emma said, showing her the photo. Amelia is Aaron's ex. This wasn't just about bad service. She had a personal vendetta. Megan's eyes widened in shock. I had no idea. That explains why she was so difficult from the start. Emma felt a mix of anger and disbelief. She must have come to the salon with the intention of causing trouble, knowing it would hurt me. 
and when things didn't go her way, she decided to take it online to ruin our reputation. Determined to confront the situation head-on, Emma drafted a message to Amelia. She acknowledged the personal history and addressed Amelia's complaints. Choosing her words carefully, Emma asked if they could meet in person to sort everything out. Emma knew she couldn't handle this confrontation alone. If Amelia had gone to such lengths, she wouldn't confess easily. Emma decided to ask for Aaron's help, hoping his presence would provide the necessary support and perhaps draw out a confession. Emma knew she needed to approach the meeting with a strategic mindset. She decided to set up a hidden camera in the cafe beforehand, ensuring she would have evidence if Amelia confessed. She asked Aaron to stay out of sight and step in only if necessary. On the day of the meeting, Emma walked into the cafe alone, her heart pounding with anticipation. Amelia was already seated, looking composed and confident. Emma took a deep breath and approached the table, forcing a calm smile. Amelia, thank you for agreeing to meet. Emma began, her voice steady. I want to address the issues you've raised about my salon, but I also want to discuss the personal history between us. Amelia feigned ignorance, her expression cool and detached. I don't know what you're talking about. My complaints were strictly about the poor service at your salon and how my hair fell off after your terrible hair stylist worked on it. Emma knew Amelia won't break easily, but she was prepared for it. She leaned forward, maintaining eye contact. We know about your past with Aaron. I found the old photos. This isn't just about bad service, is it? Amelia's eyes flickered with a mix of anger and discomfort, but she kept her facade intact. I have no idea what you mean. Seeing that Amelia wouldn't break easily, Emma decided it was time for Aaron to step in. She subtly signaled him, and Aaron entered the cafe, his presence immediately drawing Amelia's attention. Amelia, why are you doing this? Aaron asked, his voice calm but firm. We ended things a long time ago. This isn't the way to deal with it. The mention of their past relationship seemed to crack Amelia's composure. Her eyes flashed with a mix of rage and sorrow. You don't understand. You left me and moved on without a second thought. Seeing you happy with someone else made me furious. Emma, having anticipated this reaction, kept the conversation going. Amelia, I'm sorry for how things ended between you and Aaron, but sabotaging my business isn't the solution. Can't we find a way to move past this? Amelia's anger erupted. You think a simple apology will fix everything? Her voice grew louder attracting the attention of nearby patrons. Aaron remained calm, his voice soothing yet firm. Amelia, I'm truly sorry for any pain I caused but you need to come clean. Tears began to stream down Amelia's face as her anger turned into a tearful confession. Fine. Yes, I did it. I wanted to ruin your salon because I was angry and hurt. Are you satisfied now? Emma, feeling a mix of relief and empathy, stopped the recording. She had finally gotten the confession she needed. The one thing that could bring life back to her business. Later that day, she posted the recording online, cutting out the personal bits to preserve Amelia's privacy, and included a statement explaining the situation to her customers. Seeing Amelia's anguish had made Emma reflect on the incident with the old lady, realizing the profound value of empathy and kindness. Determined to rebuild the lost trust, Emma decided to implement a weekly program offering free haircuts for the elderly and homeless, hoping to right her wrongs by giving back to the community. What was supposed to be a trendy haircut ultimately became a cherished life lesson for Emma.